everyone. Let us discuss theory part of triple integration. See, when we say the function is integrable on a cuboid, okay, which is a three dimensional figure. See, we have a function f, which is defined from R3 to R, okay. So, and it is a bounded on this cuboid S, which is a product of three intervals in R, AB cross CD cross EF, getting. So, that means we will have a cuboid like this. We are calling it as S, okay. We are calling it as S. After that, what we do, we take a partition of closed interval AB. So if you take a partition of closed interval AB, we will have partition along this uh, X axis. Okay, that means we will have partition like this. So this region will be divided like this. Okay. After that, what we do, we take P2 be the partition of closed interval CD. So we are taking partition of closed interval AB CD. So that's why we will have partition along uh, partition of this y axis okay so we will have like this so we will have partitions like this okay okay after that what we do we take partition p3 of closed interval ef so we'll have partition along z axis okay so we'll have partitions like this so because of these partitions this cuboid s will be divided in in m n into m into p sub cuboids getting so if you take partition like this if you take partition along x axis partition along y axis and partition along z axis so we, that cuboid will be divided into m into n into p sub cuboids and we are considering their volume of each sub cuboid is delta i j k okay so after that we will find supremum and infimum so now we'll find supremum and infimum okay so capital M I J K which is equal to supremum of f of x y z such that x i minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to x i y j minus 1 less than or equal to y less than or equal to y j and z k minus 1 less than or equal to z less than or equal to z k okay so actually see in double integration also we do the same but in double integration, we have a plane only, but here we have a cuboid. So that's why, so we will have X lies in this interval, Y lies in this interval and Z lies in this interval. And this is true for all I running from 1 to N, J running from 1 to M and K running from 1 to P. So over each cuboid, function will attain some maximum value. So that maximum value is nothing but M I J K over each sub cuboid okay over each sub cuboid as well as over each sub cuboid function will have some minimum value also we will call it as small m i j k so that means small m i j k is equal to infimum remaining part will be same okay remaining part will be same that means when we take a supremum we call it as capital m i j k and when we take a infimum value that is nothing but small m i j k after that what we do Obviously, we'll go for upper sum. The formula remains same. Okay, so then upper sum is, let me mention, upper sum is, the formula is UPF, which is equal to summation, summation, summation. We will have three summations. First summation for I, second for J, and third for K. So let me write here, I running from 1 to N, J running from 1 to M, and K running from 1 to M. P. Okay, after that, what we write capital M I J K into delta I J K. That means the volume of each sub cuboid. Okay, so actually the pattern is same, which we have already done for double integration. So same thing and we are extending for triple integration. Okay, so after that, we find lower sum. Now, lower sum is, let me mention, lower sum is, formula is L P F which is equal to same thing we will have huh? i think you can also easily guess so this is small m i j k delta i j k okay remaining part will be same let me write here hmm? so what is the difference here we take capital m i j k and here we take small m i j k when you take capital m i j k you will have upper sum and when you take small m i j k we will have lower sum after that okay after that, we will go for upper integral and we will go for lower integral. So then upper integral is, let me mention, upper integral is, it has the same integral definition, 
uf we denoted by uf which is equal to infimum of upf where let me mention p is partition of s p is partition of s so upper integral that means you know that if you take a different different partitions we will have different upper sums getting and what will be the minimum upper sum what will be the lowest upper sum what will be the infimum upper sum that is nothing but upper integral so now we, we can define lower integral also and let me mention i hope it is visible to our lower integral is integral is it has the same symbol which we have already defined for double integration lf which is equal to supremum okay of lpf p is partition of closed interval uh, sorry partition of s again okay q word s that means in case of upper sum we choose infimum and in case of lower sum we choose supremum getting maximum value so this is upper integral and this is lower integral so if upper integral is equal to lower integral then we say yes function is Riemann oh, sorry integrable on s okay let me mention that thing so let me mention if if uf is equal to lf that means if upper integral is equal to lower integral then we say f is integrable integrable on s okay then we say the function is integrable on s and let me mention and and uf upper integral is equal to lower integral is equal to value of triple integration of f over s okay so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye